This is a tiny little story called Niggled by Leslie Atherton. I'm niggled, said Jane out loud to nobody at all. What's up this time? A voice asked, but looking around, Jane couldn't work out where the voice had originated. Who's that? she asked quite loudly and in a pretty niggled manner. The silence only accentuated her footfalls on Jane's tiled kitchen floor. They came in a pattern of unceasing regularity. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and turn. The tiles were old, but still clanged to some extent under her low-heeled party shoes. Pink and green striped with a huge green bow covering the toes. They were Jane's go-to shoes for family gatherings and stress reduction. To be frank, anyone looking at the shoes would know the kind of person that Jane was. Outrageous, extroverted and with a wild sense of humour. After all, nobody would wear such shoes if it wasn't for a joke. She thought about the shoes. Yes, they were all about the person who Jane was. And not the person that Jane had become. A kitchen-tracking, easy-sweating nobody. Who said that? Jane repeated the sentiment, if not the syntax, of her previous inquiry. And like the previous inquiry, this one received no answer. What's up this time? She giggled. I said that to myself. I must have. Wow, I really am going dotty in my old age. Her pacing stopped and the pink-faced woman wiped her forehead. Even the gentle exercise of kitchen rambling had caused her to steam a little. It wasn't fair. What she needed more than anything was quality heart-enhancing exercise, but what she got was temperature raises, aching joints and a weariness that seemed to permeate straight through to her soul. Who said that? It was the voice again. Invisible, the menopausal woman sighed. She couldn't even confirm her own stupid existence, never mind expect anyone else to validate her. It was only a little while earlier, say, 20 years ago, that heads had turned, men and women both. And she wasn't craving that, not a chance. She craved something even more special, a life of her own. And she didn't have it. Perhaps never would again. When you're a prisoner of your temperature and your narkiness, you're not exactly a person of interest to people in general. Poor old Jane. That's what people said about her. Poor old Jane. For God's sake, she was only 51. If 51 is old, what's 64, 82, 97? She just wanted life to give her a break and for something to cool her a bit. The pacing began once more. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one and turn. Look at me, she wanted to shout. But she didn't. Instead, poor Old Jane went up to her bedroom for her third shower of the day.